Maybe you have an idea of something you would like to do or create, but you feel you are not quite ready yet. Maybe you feel like you have to learn a skill, like public speaking before you can run those workshops that you have been dreaming about. Or maybe you feel like you have to look a certain way before you can be on camera. Or you need to wait until you have more time before you start writing your book, painting your abstract oversized gouache pictures, or start growing your vegetable garden. Whatever it is you want to create, it's so easy to put it off because you might feel like you aren't ready yet. The problem is that you might never feel ready, never be skilled enough, confident enough, or have enough time, money, resources to get started. Diving right in before you're ready can be so liberating. So what do you do if you don't feel skilled enough to get started with something? Yes, it's good to learn the basics of something you want to try, like create a website if you want to blog, set up a podcast if you want to talk, etc. But you can usually learn these basic skills with a quick Google search and a few hours of focused work. Everything else you will learn along the way while you're doing the thing. For example, I started my podcast with a sore throat because I was so scared speaking publicly, but my desire to do it was bigger than my fear, so I kept going. With every episode that I published, I figured out something else about having a podcast. I allowed myself to play with music for the background or for an intro and an outro. I was trying to find ways to improve the sound quality without having a proper microphone. Once after listening to my recording, I wanted to find out how to get less of the blowing noises while recording, so I googled it and found out how to make a simple pop filter. I was using it the next day and the quality had improved a little bit. But I kept trying more things to improve the sound quality and to make every episode a tiny bit better than the one before. I didn't expect myself to be perfect from the get-go. I even liked the idea of having the super professional podcast and online business someday, but people can still go back to my first wonky attempts of recording, writing, making courses, making videos. Do you ever like doing that? Going way back to the first YouTube videos or blog posts of someone you admire? I like seeing how people evolved over time. I think we live in a great time for self-directed learning. You can just dive into your projects and when you come up to a challenge or a problem, ask Google for help or find a mentor that you feel drawn to. But don't keep taking courses without taking action because you will never feel ready enough to start. Begin now and get good at it along the way. So this was an old podcast episode I recorded about half a year ago. And I just want to add how I made this podcast episode, because I think it's a good example for this. I just woke up that morning, before everyone else woke up, and I had an idea of recording this podcast. So I took my notepad and I wrote out all my ideas. Then I took my phone, I went into the bathroom, because I didn't want to wake anyone up, and I just recorded myself talking into my phone and then I sent the recordings to my email address. Put it up, put music behind it and that was it. Podcast episode finished. It can be that easy. And if you just keep going like this and just create things in a quick and easy way, while you're still inspired, you will keep getting better at it. You will. <laughs>